YouTube, it's me, Tyler Renee. What is popping, everybody? All right, so today's video, no. Today's motion picture will be talking about basically um, coronavirus and how I feel about schools going online or being on campus. So if you want to know more about that, then make sure you stay tuned. Let's get it. Alrighty, so how I feel. So basically, let me. I'm gonna tell you about Kennesaw State and basically what we're doing or what they are doing to us. So honestly, to be completely truthful, I think they're taking our money <laughs> because um, maybe like a week ago, we all had to pay for parking passes and um, meal plans and things of that sort. But then yesterday, everybody was talking about how most of their classes um, have been moved to online, except for one or two classes. And the reason I think they're taking our money is because they knew that they were going to move all of our, well, most of our classes online when they could, when they could have um, told us this prior to us purchasing like parking passes and dining dollars and things of that sort. So I just feel like every every university in Georgia should do the same thing whatever they whatever they think is best i feel like that's what should happen and i've heard that um multiple universities are meeting maybe today or tomorrow to talk about whether they're going to take all the classes and put them all online or like start out virtual or whatever and honestly it's pointless it's really pointless because students have already um, started moving onto campuses. Students have moved into student living. Sorry, y'all, it's a fly. <laughs> um, they've moved into student living, bought all this dorm um, dormitory stuff. And then you're going to tell us that we can't stay on campus and that all um, classes are online. I just feel like money is the motive behind everything that these universities are doing and i wish i didn't have to say it like that but i really think that's the truth although i was really looking forward to going back on campus um come fall but now that all my classes are online i don't even feel like i need to like i literally if i would have known that before i renewed my lease i probably wouldn't have renewed it just for the simple fact what's the point i could have went home and did all my classes online you see what i'm saying say money live better period i truly feel bad for freshman students who are just now coming in and haven't really been able to get the college experience because they probably won't get it for a while maybe not until their junior or senior year hopefully and that's if corona gets better but like you don't you don't ever know you never know like what's the truth with corona you never know anything um as for Kennesaw State they had initially told us that we were going to um be on campus until Thanksgiving break and then when we came back or yeah when we came back technically came back to school um, we would go virtual for the rest of the, um, the, the remainder of the semester. But obviously now all of our classes are online. And then I know a, a lot of other universities whose camp, I mean, whose um, classes are virtual as well. And I just feel like at this point, every university should just go virtual. Because not, not only is it going to save students money, but it's going to um, be better for us health-wise. I know that like, if one person on campus gets sick, they're going to have to close the campus down. Or if a teacher gets sick or a staff member or anybody, maybe even a visitor comes on campus and comes in contact with corona, the whole campus is going to get shut down because they don't know the root of where they um, contracted the virus. So I just feel like there's a lot of kinks and things that they need to sort out before they let us back on campus. Even though I do want to go back to campus. Don't get me wrong because I learn better when I'm in the classroom. But I also want everybody to be safe and to be healthy 
before we make that big jump to going on campus. But, I mean, who knows what they'll do, really and truly. I mean, what what day do we start classes? August 17th. We start classes August 17th. So, they could change things beforehand. We got a whole week left until we um go back to school. And I know, like, they're saying that masks are mandatory on campus except for, like, in dormitories, like, ARC, UV, things like that. But that's kind of sketchy, too, because... If you don't have to wear a mask, then you come back to class and you might have corona and then what? We're going virtual. Simple. Same with other universities. I'm not sure if y'all have to wear a mask or not, but if y'all don't have to um, take any precautions, and then you go to class, you're going out to the club, you're doing this, you're doing this, that, and the third, and then you come in contact with maybe somebody who's older who has underlying conditions or um, anybody, really, who has a weak immune system or something like that, then what? Campus is closed. Classes are virtual. And that's what we should have started out doing from the, um, in the first place so that we could get everything sorted out before we jump right into trying to be on campus again. But that's just my opinion. That's what I think. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not the president of the United States, nor am I the president of the university system. I'm just somebody talking to you through a phone. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going to happen. But hopefully everybody stays safe this semester. Um, make sure you wear your mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. Don't forget to pray, you know what I'm saying? Just be safe. Um, make sure your roommates are safe because if they got it, technically you got it because y'all are in the same room. Um, make sure you stay six feet apart. Ugh. Um, I mean, that's really all I can say because, yeah. Oh, and also make sure you leave your, your shoes outside the door because you can track Corona on your shoes. And then, and then you need to wash your hair because corona can be attached to your hair. Take off your clothes right when you get to the house because it can be stuck to your clothes. I'm just trying to give you the um, tea. Oh, and y'all need to do the steam. Put some lemon in a pot with some water and some salt and steam your nose for two minutes every time after class. At night before you go to bed and drink lemon tea keep that immune system up be taking vitamin c probiotic whatever you can find honestly because you don't ever know you never know how corona could affect your body your family um whatever the case may be your friends so you want to try and protect everybody that's in your vicinity in your circle um because like i said if you got it or if they got it, then you got it. And if you got it, they got it. So, that's all I have to say for this video. I hope y'all enjoy. I was really rambling a lot, but I'm just trying to keep everybody safe. Just giving my opinion on school starting back. And um, I hope you have a great semester, 4.0, or um, whatever your best is. Don't compare yourself to nobody else. Just do what you can do and make sure it's, you're the best at it. All right. I will talk to y'all in the next motion picture. Bye.